Expedition Freaks, welcome all back to the channel. Me and Dad are out on the water. Father's Day week, you know what I mean? And we've been doing some smallmouth fishing, we've been doing some walleye fishing, and we have caught some northern pike along the way, some good ones, and there's some nice pike in this lake. So today, we decided we are going to do a challenge. Longest pike wins, loser, is gonna have to do a hot shot. What is a hot shot? It's gonna be a weird concoction that mm, nobody really wants to drink. That's the consequence today. So we're gonna do a, a three or four hour Northern Pike challenge out here. Now, the spot that we were in right now, I caught my personal best, a 42 inch Northern Pike. It is on the wall in the cabin. It was right in this spot. While we were smallmouth fishing, I caught it on a tube of all things. We don't have the, the best of pike gear, but we are going to attempt to try to get a big pike on the line. Longest one, doesn't have to drink the hot shot. All right, with danger of losing the jerk bait, I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna start out with the scout. It just seems to catch a lot of pike. And we got some wind right here. I've got some other lure options that I plan to deploy. But we don't necessarily have the big pike here, but caught some really good ones just on standard bass stuff. So we will just keep going with this for a minute. Anytime we've gotten in the grassy type areas, it seems pike like to live there. So we'll start out on this little windy point where I've caught my PB. See if we can get on the board with something. All right, I've got me a little buzz bait tied on. I think that might that might entice a big pike. All right, here's we're gonna add something to a challenge. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be there's gonna be a subtraction for each lure you you lose. It's gonna be an inch subtraction. Okay. That's gonna keep it pretty interesting here. We have lost a lot of lures to pike. So this is a game of skill, catching the pike and not losing your, your stuff. Which is definitely gonna to happen to me because I forgot my 25 pound leader line. That I was gonna bring specifically for this. Fishing around some of these weeds where the pike normally like to rear their big heads. Oh my God. That was a big small mouth. Holy shnikes. He's still trying to hit it too. <laughs> well, that was a fun bonus. Thought it was a big pike at first. Thing was up there around the reeds. Oh, dad's on. Holy cow. On the revolver. On the revolver. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have a tiny net too. Oh, 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 oh. 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 All right, you got to land your own fish. I'll hand you the net, but you got to land your own fish. Okay. That's a pretty good one to get on the board with. Yeah, this is part of the challenge right here. You gotta scoop them up with that little net. Or grab them, hand grab them if, if you're brave enough. Oh, here comes the hook to the hand. Let's see. Oh, we got him. Landed. All right. Let's see. Let's see how long it is. Oh, 25. We'll call it 25. 25. 25, hey, good job. Thank you, sir. Sexy Shad Revolver. First one has come on that. Dad's up on me, but I think we can get bigger. There's, oh, come off. Something, oh my gosh. That's a small mouth. Dad's got a big smallmouth on. I just had something big hit me. Dad had a smallmouth hit the full size revolver. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a big smallmouth. That was an explosion. I almost want to give you points for that, but I don't have anything on the board, so I can't. All right, guys, first spot, Dad. He's ahead. So we've been in some shallow grassy stuff. I think we're gonna try to go to some more main lake, bigger rocks, some places we found some perch that we've got pike that have been biting off our lures and try out there because I gotta get in the game, man. I gotta get on the board. Walk in. Walk in and go to work. All right, here we go. Just stopped at a place me and dad have never been to. Just looked good. Saw a bunch of reeds and stuff. Close to deep water, we just marked a bunch of bait. Oh, I got one in. Here we go now. Small mouth, golly. Things are everywhere, aren't they? Oh my gosh, look at the rocks we're on. Yeah, no wonder. Waypoint. You got a fish on? Yeah. Big one? No. It's a pike? It's a pike. <laughs> Dad with another pike. On the jerk bait, it's a little one. What are you doing with that thing? You just playing with it? You tinkering with it? Little. Oh, not so little. <laughs> oh, damn, Dad! What are you doing? Holy! Oh, I'm sorry. God dang! Tearing my up! You just broke my rod. I did not. Yes, you did. The tip just broke off. It's under the chair. Pike in there like that. The trolling motor privileges have been revoked. I'm sorry. Two times on the trolling motor. I'm sorry. Very disappointed. Oh, of course I did. He catches a fish, he throws it at my face, breaks my rods. I mean, damn. That, that's a hard competitor. Oh God, he broke me off. Dang, got me. Oh! <laughs> that is a negative inch for me. He, uh, he bit you off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he bit me off. There he goes. <laughs> Had my chance at a pike, y'all. It wasn't a game changer, but got broke off. Negative inch right now. Goodness. All right, we're gonna try another spot. Let's see if we can get some pike pike going. It's like all the other bass spots that we fished the other day, they were all over the place. So I think we're gonna go back to some of those. All right, guys, we gotta make a stop at what has been deemed Rackley Island years ago. After my dad. I just really liked it. Had a for sale sign on it, it's still for sale. This island's been for sale for like five years. So, uh, clear water over here. This is close to the area that we found a bunch of perch beds and we're gonna try to uh, get that big old slimer in here. So, let's get it. Windblown saddle right here. I'm gonna try this jerk bait. It's so long that I'm hoping that the fish won't get its full mouth around it. It's a 
pike. Hooked up on a pike. You're on your own. Oh yeah. Oh. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. Rackley Island. Where the big pikes play. Oh my gosh. There he goes. He's running. Ah, he's not gonna beat yours. I think he was prob probably under that 24 mark, honestly. Well, that never happens though when they just kind of let go with the boat. I'll take it, I'll take it. There might be another one in here. This little saddle. You hooked up? Yep. Yeah. Dad's got something over here. A little slimer? Oh, we're in the pikes. We're in the yeah. pikes, boys. Pike Island. Yeah, don't sling that one onto my rods, please. <laughs> Holy cow. I've learned my lesson. Dude. I got him. I don't know yet. Bill's kind of twerky. Oh, yeah. It's a, no, it's a small mouth. He's just sideways. Right, came off. this looks kind of pikey it's a pike oh no oh no get off pike get off that is not gonna beat you he's gonna get off you gotta hurry he's not gonna get off oh yeah got the clamp on him look at those teeth let's see what we're dealing with not gonna be dead, I can tell you that. Ah, oh, that is a 21 incher minus one. I'm at 20 inches. Oh, dead. Oh, I had one following it. Oh, I got him right there at the boat. That's a better one. <laughs> this one might beat you. If you get him in. If I get him in. He's barely hooked, actually. I've watched him eat it. Oh, baby. Come on now. Come on. Oh, yeah. This is going to be, this is going to take the lead. Oh, big toothy critter. Oh my gosh, look at the net we have. This is ridiculous. Oh, on. This one's over this one's over 26. You're 26, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, come on. You go to flopping on me. Oh my gosh, those teeth. Oh, those teeth. He's snapping at me too. I'm scared. I'm just really scared to land him behind the face, but there we go. We got him, boys. We got a pretty good one. So he's gonna be. He's gonna be 25 inches. 25, you think? No. A little longer than that out there. All right. 
Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. That's a 28. Nope, nope, hang on. I gotta get him flat. Pinching the tail, he's 28. Minus one though for me, that's 27. One inch. 27. Let's go boys. Just took the lead right there. Dad, you were at 26. 26. So I got you by you one inch. If I lose a lure, we're tied. Full size scout is getting it done. I got lucky with that one. I saw it coming and I was able to hook him before he got the whole thing in his mouth. So just gotta hope, just gotta hope he doesn't break you off. Got something. I think I got another pike. I do. Piked up. Piked up. Little guy. Not gonna do it. Looks like a uh, treble hook in the hand kind of guy. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, he is. Seems like the bigger ones are hanging in that deeper water. <laughs> Woo! Dad, did you just did you just break off? I did. Did you get? I got cut. Do you get slimed? I got slimed. He Slime cut, cut, and that's gonna subtract an inch off your best. He just sliced it right. Oh yes, he did. And that was probably a twenty dollar lure you had on there. Yeah, or more. Population fish this size in this lake is stupid. Just hardly ever catch a dink. On again. A little smallmouth came off. Another one came and got it. Aggressive. on the loose. Bronze back on the loose. Got a rodeo. Hang on, let me let, let him break dad's rods. <laughs> this is a, this is about normally when a pike comes and ruins the fun, takes your jerk bait, so it sounds about right. Fat. Huh? Fat, fat, fat. Fat, fat, fatties. Oh my gosh, I got piked. No, I knew, I was like, this is about the time. This is what happens. Okay, so we're one inch off. Yeah, now we're one inch off. It would have been tied, but you busted one on. Dad gum and then he took a good jerk bait, son of a D. Ah. Now I'm now I'm nervous. I'm like, should I keep fishing because I could technically go down a notch if I keep fishing. You know? You have to keep fishing. That's a new rule. That's the rule. You can't just okay. Well. All right. Staying down. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh, oh. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh, Dad's hooked up on a pike. Oh! 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> he was a good one. <laughs> he was a 30 plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a. Uh... That was a hot shot dodger right there, oh. but couldn't close the deal. Wabam. I might be squeaking this thing out by an inch. Yeah. Isn't that so crazy how the smallmouth and the pike is just all right there? They're all mixed in. 
Oh man, he just had it on jerk bait. I mean, maybe I should tie on a jerk bait again. They seem to be hitting it good. Oh, hooked up. Last 10 minutes of competition, we're hooked up, baby. Something big. It's going out. Oh, it's going out. It's gotta be a pike. This could be the deal sealer right here. It's either a pike or a big old walleye. I'm thinking it might be a giant walleye. Here, you want me to take the rod for you? <laughs> I'll hold it for you. This is a this is my PB walleye. Is it really? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I got the net right here. We're good. This is my PB walleye. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Scoop them up. There we go. There's a fatty. Look at that. 24 inches. 24 inch walleye. Pretty sweet. Thought I had it right there, boys. Felt solid, but hey, my PB walleye, pretty cool. So we haven't gotten a pike um, over that 30 inch mark. Pretty hard to do on light line, but the last 10 minutes of this competition, we we're going to attempt to try to get a bigger one on the on the, on the wall on the line by trolling. So we got a couple crankbaits. We're going to go back to this island that has some deeper water where we saw some bigger walleye, and I caught my my biggest one that's leading right now. And we're going to troll there, 10 minute troll. And here's the stipulation to the competition: if you do break off you automatically lose. That's gonna put me in a bad position, but we're gonna keep things spicy. I'm gonna get, give dad a chance. You know, it's Father's Day. You know, last time he lost competition up here, he had to eat a, a live earthworm, a night crawler, and he did it. But uh, anyway, I'm giving you a, a second chance, dad. Is that? Is that yeah, the know? night crawler was not good, so. Okay, you know. yeah, I really shouldn't, because you broke my rod today. <laughs> Such a, anyway. Chartreuse and blue, recon. Dad's got some, some I don't know, some shad colored, medium sized crank, just like my depth. So, cast them out. Oh yeah, boys. Oh, we're, we're hitting the bottom. We're bottom bouncing. Dad's going with the loose drag method. I'm going with uh, tight drag. Is, is your hope there that if one gets it, maybe you don't break them off immediately. That's right. Yeah. If you have a chance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if if one of those big ones hits it and just snaps the line. I am seeing fish underneath this bait like crazy. Oh, I got it. I got a fish on. Oh, fish on. Come on, baby. Feels very heavy. I got horsepower fighting against it. I've got one too. You have one too? Oh, nope. Sorry. I think I don't have you. No real idea. She's not a jumper. She's not a jumper. Oh boy. Oh boy. What do we got here? It's a pike and it's a good one. Oh. Come on, baby. Break off. Break Let's off. Let's go. Break off. <laughs> Baby, let's go. Oh no. Oh, go. Oh, shoot. He got out of the net. Oh, I got to get him with the, I got to get him with the thing. He's too big for the net. Oh, we almost jumped to the boat right there. Ah, oh, oh, come here. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh no! Just a hair shy of 27. That's a pretty good one there, boys. It's not gonna, we're not gonna set any records with that one, but you know what? We're still in the lead. Let's let this guy go. See you, Snotty. 
We got five minutes left in the competition. We're gonna go back by Rackley Island over here where we saw some big ones and we're gonna finish off the troll. I'm liking my chances right now, but if I break off, it's done. It's done. All right. Let them loose. All right. So far, the recon is doing its job. Come on, Bacon. I want a drag ripper. Are you doing pump action or are you no, just I'm, I'm straight just, retrieve? Just, just straight holding it? <laughs> I'm on the beer drinking uh, retrieve. Man, it would suck to lose by like an inch, you know? I <laughs> know. That's right, I'm behind one inch. Ah, a hot shot just doesn't sound good. Yeah, there might be some extras in there too, Ted. Ted said he had some special things. Oh. My. Oh, just got bumped. Just got bumped. We're getting into them too, right here. Oh, they're covering the screen. They're covering the screen. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, guess what, Pop? Ten. Wait a minute. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, it's official <laughs> like a referee whistle, Dad. You're gonna be eating some nasty oh, shit. No, I, I got a bite. No, you did not. I am not kidding. You're never gonna get him with that. I know. Drag. I know I need to tighten that down. What I do? I got a fish. I got a fish. You have a fish? Yeah. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. No way. Hey, I think this fish was on before the countdown was over. We may have to go to the... To the oh, is it a pike? No. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it is a big one. Oh my god. Oh, he's got the line. He's going to get off. Oh my gosh, it is a big one. Oh, oh he's going to get oh off. Oh my gosh, this is for all the marbles. He literally hurt this fish. Oh! oh! It just got off. Oh no. Holy <laughs> 40 incher. He was here. Oh, I don't know about a 40, but he definitely would have won. Oh no! I cannot believe that just happened. We were literally about to just reel in. And he hooks up. Hey dad. You know what? When you slung when you slung that pike in and broke my rod tip, that's the that's the karma right there. <laughs> Popping off right at the end. Instead of breaking off, the lure just pops out. LFG for the dub. Oh yeah. Let's head back to the cabin for that consequence, sir. Hey, fair, Good comp, game. fair competition. Fair comp. Good game. Oh. Enjoyed our snot rocket light line challenge, but, uh, you know, it's time to pay up. This is phase one of LFD's punishment. He's got to mow the ditch with the push mower since he broke my rod tip. My gold series rod tip, by the way. Yeah, we're going in here to work on Phase two. Phase two is not looking so good for dad. Got ourselves a glass. We're gonna hook him up. A little sriracha. A little cherry. Some boches. Boches. I don't know how you say this, but I had some the other day and it cleared my upper nasal cavity out. Some olives. Then we spice it up a little bit. Little Tito's. A little brown water. Finish it off with one of these beautiful cherries on top. Mm. Oh man, that's gonna be great. Hot shot. The hot shot, it's time. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready or not. What do you got in it? Oh, here it is. I know you're a man of spicy concoctions. What's in here? I know you like a little brown water. Now there's a couple little Easter eggs, little extra nuggets in there for you. You can choose to maybe have your cherry now or oh. have it have it after as a dessert. Ooh. But it's all in there. 
so, thing is, you gotta just kind of gulp this thing. You know? We can't babysit it, you know what I mean? What do you got on that? All right, so here's the deal. Okay. I get the privilege to come up here in, in uh, Ted's uh, cabin, and Steve's cabin, and it's a great experience, but there's one thing about it. I have to compete with my son, who's a really good fisherman, on these contests. Last time, I ate a damn worm, a live <laughs> one. It was about that long. This year, I got some type of concoction that looks like it might uh, sterilize me. But to be fair, I gave you multiple second chances, really, to come back, and you didn't. So now, just do it. Hey, but I almost came back. Yeah. Wow. There it is. Wow. That's strong. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Oh my God. <laughs> what happened? Oh, was it too much horseradish in there? Oh, that horseradish. Got me. Woo! Oh. oh my goodness. Well, whatever that stuff was that lit me up the other night, that was. I put like two tablespoons in there. Woo! Oh, the olive looks good. He took that like a champ. Dad, he did. I knew it wouldn't be that bad for him. He loves spicy stuff. Hope you enjoyed watching today's competition. And stay tuned. We got more fishing to do up here north of the wall. You know what to do. Smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next one.